Warm greetings. Today is Tuesday, September 24, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia, and in this video, I will be providing an update on what is now Tropical Storm Helene, currently located to the south of Pinar del Rio and to the east of the Yucatan Peninsula. Some outer bands have already started affecting the western part of Cuba and sectors of the northeastern Yucatan Peninsula. Tropical Storm Helene is projected to undergo rapid intensification over the next 48 hours, and by the time it passes closest to Pinar del Rio and the northeastern Yucatan Peninsula, it is likely to become a Category 1 hurricane. It is also expected to strengthen further into a major hurricane, potentially reaching Category 3 before making landfall in Florida and Georgia. One important factor to note is that the circulation associated with Tropical Storm Helene is very broad, which means that even though the center of circulation is expected to stay to the west of Cuba, tropical storm conditions and heavy rain, which could lead to flooding, are still likely. Similarly, as the storm moves west of the Florida Peninsula, tropical storm force winds and some hurricane force gusts could affect the western part of Florida. In the infrared satellite image, we can see the extent of the moisture area, indicating that a lot of rain is expected over the next 24 to 36 hours in western Cuba, and also in parts of northern Quintana Roo and eastern Yucatan, at least throughout today. The track models have shown good consensus, maintaining a northwest trajectory for at least the next 24 hours. The storm is expected to pass very close to or over the city of Cancun by Wednesday afternoon, and then accelerate northeastward, eventually making landfall in the Big Bend region of Florida by Thursday afternoon or evening. Today, we've also observed that Tropical Storm Helene is experiencing some difficulty strengthening, thanks to some wind shear affecting its circulation from the west. However, conditions are improving, and the storm is expected to start intensifying. Fortunately, models now indicate a Category 2 or 3 hurricane when it reaches Florida, compared to yesterday when they predicted Category 3 or 4. Because of this, the National Hurricane Center now forecasts maximum sustained winds of 115 miles per hour in its official prediction. Additionally, the forecast from the National Hurricane Center predicts that by Wednesday morning, Helene will pass its closest point to the northeastern Yucatan Peninsula, possibly as a Category 1 hurricane, also affecting parts of western Cuba, where a tropical storm warning and a hurricane watch are in effect. The NHC then forecasts that by Thursday morning, Helene will be a major hurricane, making landfall in the Big Bend region of Florida by Thursday evening. For this reason, a hurricane watch has been issued for this area, and due to the storm's broad circulation, a tropical storm watch is in place for parts of central Florida and the western coast, as well as for the Florida Panhandle. Unlike yesterday, models now agree that Helene will arrive as a Category 2 or Category 3 hurricane, and while this forecast may change over the coming days, here are some of the model runs specialized in intensity. For instance, this model shows a Category 2 or Category 3 hurricane hitting the Big Bend area of Florida, and the same can be seen in other intensity models. Some models even show a Category 3 hurricane, which is why the National Hurricane Center projects that it will arrive as a major hurricane. It also cannot be ruled out that it may strengthen beyond what this forecast currently indicates. It is essential for residents of Alabama, Georgia, and Florida to stay very attentive to the development of future Hurricane Helene, especially regarding the winds and rain expected in the southeastern United States, the Yucatan Peninsula, and Cuba. Over the next 48 hours, tropical storm force winds will affect regions of western Cuba and parts of the northeastern Yucatan Peninsula. Wind gusts between 70 to 90 km per hour will impact these areas from Tuesday night through Wednesday night. Additionally, accumulated rainfall totals projected by the GFS model show between 150 to 200 mm of rain from today, Tuesday, through early Thursday morning. As the system moves further north, much of the Florida Peninsula and northern Florida will experience tropical storm force winds, with gusts between 40 to 60 miles per hour. Areas near the storm center of circulation may experience hurricane force winds, including northern Florida and southern Georgia. Due to the storm's rapid northeast movement, tropical storm force winds may even reach other states like Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina, with gusts between 40 to 60 miles per hour. Heavy rainfall is also expected in Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, and especially in Georgia, where totals between 6 to 10 inches of rain may be reported, particularly on Friday. That's all for this forecast update. Stay tuned to Hurricane Info. And to make sure you don't miss any videos during this special coverage, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications when I post new videos. For now, I'm signing off, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.